What's up YouTube? We're a couple of cunts. We're in the countryside. We're talking about facial hair. Ooh. Movember. It's when you grow a moustache to raise money for prostate cancer. To fight it, not create it. That would be pointless. I've done my part. I've grown this handsome motherfucker. Have you done your part? He didn't. No, 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 fair. I have a moustache all year round, along with the rest of a bit. Nobody pays me for shit. I may not be raising awareness or anything, but I still have a moustache all year round. I've had, like, this for years. Well, I've, ha I've had the goatee for about three years now, and I've had the, the rest of the ensemble of new metal goatee for... I don't know, maybe since I was 18? So I, I remember six, seven when, years, uh, when your, your beard was just a circle. Yeah, it was just a circle perfectly of hair. circular. Just, I had a moustache when I was like 13, before not, everyone else in the school. Not so much a moustache as a few little pubes. Just hey, they were good the hairs, right? the, the four of them that they were, they were, they were epic quality hairs. The thing to know about this guy is, right, hey, 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 the hey, hair let's... on top of his head, it's really soft and smooth, it's like a fig. This, it's a bit more rough. But I, I won't venture any further south, but by process of elimination... You can lick my chest there if you want. I assume it's like a fucking hedgehog down there. We're on the topic of facial hair. I'm kind of not the right person to be talking about that, because what I grow is just essentially the shadow under my nose. You could blow it off. Mm. A kitten could lick it off. If we had a cat here, I'd suggest we do that. Yeah, Thank usually the only pussy on my face is your mum's. <laughs> uh, I'm going to punch you before you yeah, I'm sure. Uh, you're the fig head next to me here has said that he's going to grow in the beard. He's going to go for the full look. Are you I'm, still I'm planning on doing like that? Can, you know, extending it down here. So um, I think it needs to be done. Tune in in the weeks to come to see if he's got the grit and determination and testicular well, fortitude to actually grow a beard. It's not really going to take that long. It'll take about four days for me to like get the adjoining bits here. I, I've seen a few photos on Facebook lately, uh, with it being November and all the girls sort of like are fixing like you know Mario tashes and stuff. Or drawing one with marker pen. Does it get you going? Not really, no. I think it must be said. Maybe a goatee to do it for me, but uh, no, certainly. It, it's somewhat weird to look at. You, you look at someone who you've you sort of maybe known for a while, something like that. Someone you'd never imagine with a moustache. Do you spend a lot of time imagining ladies with moustaches? Really, no. But uh, it's probably in somewhere in the back 200 things, there'd be several thousand things going on in my mind at any time. Somewhere between, you know. Honey glazed uh, ham. Well, the. But, you know, the yen to the dinar conversion rate, but probably just above it, just below that is worrying if I'm going to get stung to death by a swarm of angry wasps that day. You think if about chicks with moustaches more than dying by wasp sting? Only, I've got to say, only, it's probably the other way around for o me. Only ever so slightly, but I, as I'm saying, that, that's somewhat near the back end of shit I think about. I say, for me, it would probably be like earthworms. I probably think about slightly more yeah, like than quite like that. girls with moustaches and then what Alan Sugar is doing at this precise moment. I don't think, you know, tits and facial hair is a good combination. But most okay. people think of, uh, of facial hair as an exclusively male thing, but I have noticed a few of the uh, older ladies yeah, sprout that, a few bristles. Like Semi-bearded aunt you have that can just give you a cuddle and a kiss. I'm not fucking having a go at you old ladies, I think you're awesome. But it's just you do sometimes have a beard. And it is a bit creepy. Have you ever thought about soul patches? I mean, have you ever seen those people who grow soul patches but can't grow any facial hair anywhere else in the face? Like me. Well, no, you've got the moustache at least. People who can only grow soul patches, you kind of feel a bit sorry for them. They're so desperate to have a beard. They've just got that bit there and that's it. It's just like fucking get rid of it. The only thing worse than that, I'd say, is those really geeky guys you see with neck beards who just like have the ten hairs like here. Not actually on the chin or the jawline or anything. It's like ten hairs here. They just never shave it. So like fucking hell, I can tell you're a programmer or some shit. Nothing against programmers, you know. It's just you know, have some fucking decency. Why do they call them soul patches anyway? I'm not a religious man. I always thought the soul was in the heart or or in the Maybe head. Maybe it's on your chin. Maybe that's where all these major world religions were going wrong. You know, people talking about chakras, stuff like that. No one ever pays attention to the chin. There we go. Your soul is in your chin. So treat okay, your chin right. We've started talking about beers now. Why don't we start a new religion based around how you use your chin? <laughs> How do you use your chin? I'd like to knock people out with them when they're not expecting to get in a fight. Chinning. Uh, so do we base the religion around Jay Leno? Beards on, like, dickish celebrities is another topic that is just you could talk for fucking ages about. Richard Branson. He's a cunt. He's got quite a good beard. 
Lewis Hamilton, generally accepted for guys a bit of a knobber. Can you imagine him with like a full on, you know, beard? No. No. He's, he's going to have some like little shitty designer stubble, but he's going to be preening while he's like attempting to control an F1 car and not trying to kill anyone around the track. Shia LaBeouf? I he, see, he can't even grow the facial hair I can grow. I, and I that is tragic. I Shame see, on you, I Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> I don't see him with a beard, no. He, um, has, he has the maybe the little. I don't know, what the fuck do you call that? Just a sort of a little fluff shit hand. Just there. And then, I mean, what, you've got more on your head than he's got on his face. Yeah, that's saying a lot. But it is. Yeah. It is. I, I think from now on, we'll call that a shit hang. If you've just got like four whiskers here. Shia LaBeouf, proprietor of the shit hang. Who else is a cunt? Uh, famous cunts. Not actual famous cunts. You know, like Pamela Anderson's. Yeah. Badge. She oh. hasn't got much of a beard between her legs. Hot women can have big bushes. Alright, I'm Julianne Moore of Boogie Nights and the Big Lebowski fame, she's pretty slamming hot and she's got a fucking massive, huge red bush. We've, we've gone sort of from here to man facial bush to women badge bush. This may be the first episode but I get the impression that conversation may start around yeah, this, here this and end true. up somewhere this around This is every episode, just like, it starts by the mouth. But you know I'm, who's a, a good person who had facial hair is Albert Einstein, Karl Marx. Well, no, or oh, no, Karl Sigmund Marx. Freud. Karl Marx did have. Well, Sigmund Freud was a uh, was a psychologist. I don't think you can actually get a, uh, a reputable psychology degree without a bitching beard that you can you know get bits of cornflake and shit in, or you know that you can't rub on bitches. There's a topic for conversation: facial hair as food storage. Now, obviously, I am not capable no. of growing enough facial hair to do that, but we have a friend called Martin, whose beard is like a beef pie. We'll insert and, and, a picture a of shorter. Martin now. Yeah, that's him. He has found food in his beard on several occasions. I'm pretty sure he once found a whole Dorito in there, which is admirable. I admire that. I it, aspire it, it's to that. disgusting as well, though, the fact that like he could be carrying around anything in there, like a carton of sarin gas, anthrax, dead mouse, maybe even the, you know, remnants of a small child, and he's just walking around back in his beard, and you know, I occasionally hug the guy, you know, and I'm just sort of thinking, what sort of residue am I getting off of you? Is this like something left over from a bubonic fucking plague or something? What have you got in there? You utter scatty fucking bastard. So if I had a beard like that, I'd keep a sausage roll, maybe or a pork pie, a couple of twiglets. See, just three twiglets to hold the shape, and if I get packaged. There's this, this amazing thing we've invented these days called, like, you know, plastic bags. You can put shit like that in and put it in your pocket so you don't get crumbs every fucking way. When, you, when you're walking down the street and you fancy a snack, there's not, like, complete strangers looking at you while you're fucking face fisting yourself trying to get fucking food out from below your chin. Then, like, shoving it in your mouth while getting crumbs in your beard and over yourself and getting beard hairs in your fucking mouth. I saw a band the other week, actually, called... Uh, Foxy Shazam, the keyboard player, he had a massive, massive beard. It's like, that is much more respectable than mine. You could literally slap bitches with that beard. It was beautiful. Bass player from System of a Down. Shavu Adagian. Yep. Yeah. Him, he could whip that thing around, he could catch cattle with that, he could pimp slap you with it, he could probably scale a small building with that. I'm pretty right. sure he uses it for anal beads. Then you've got, like, Scott Ian of Anthrax, yes. who I'm fairly sure uses a Pringles tube. Just to, to get the, the he necessary have, he shape. Have good, you know, good definition. I mean. It's like he's got it's a toilet your roll. Fucking shit, piss, bitch ass, bitch beard. <laughs> I suppose if you're going to talk about celebrity mustaches, the person at the very top of the food chain is Eagles of Death Metal's Jesse the Devil. Oh, he does have just oh, you, you kind of want to lick him. Don't oh, you? Yeah. girls love him, guys love him. Girls and guys love him simultaneously. I, I do like the moustache. Quite a lot of dictators around the world have had them over the years. It's quite inspirational to see them with them. It's the um, Stalin rather than the Hitler I'm going for. Yeah, I, I can see that. Daffy, he had quite good facial hair when uh, he was still alive. He died. Yeah, poor bastard. Saddam Hussein. Facial yeah, hair. Well, that's it. Wow. If we've learned one thing tonight, and we really haven't learned a lot, it's that dictators like facial hair. Well, we've been a couple of cunts in the countryside, and if you've enjoyed this, like, favourite, share, subscribe, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you next time. And give me your mum's number. <laughs>